Let's move to the next form of computing services in AWS. Have you ever heard the term serverless computing? It's one of the hottest topics, and actually many customers, after migrating to the cloud, do have digital transformational plans to convert their traditional computing servers into serverless. Let's learn about it now. In traditional computing models, we set up the underlying infrastructure with physical and virtual servers to eventually host our applications on top of it. Our applications that are running our business functions are actually composed of lines of code. I got a question for you, what do we pay for in the cloud? Do we pay for my application consumption or pay for infrastructure consumption? Hmm. Let me help you. Do you think my application code, if it is running or not, would that have any impact on my bill? Absolutely, no impact, but why is that? Because, in this traditional model, you pay for infrastructure services, regardless of what is going to happen on top of that server, regardless if your application runs or not. On the contrary, with a serverless computing model, I care only about my application code. My code runs on abstracted hardware that you do not manage or operate, but rather handled by the cloud provider, and you get charged only for the runtime of your code. This can result in significant savings on your infrastructure bill, and beside that, it simplifies your operational model, as you need to focus only on your code. AWS Lambda is AWS main serverless computing service. It allows you to run your code in the form of functions, without the need to provision or manage the underlying servers. You need to define mainly two things only. First, upload your functions code, and Lambda does support multiple programming languages. Second, you need to define the triggering event that will fire the execution of your code. When this event occurs, your function gets invoked to be executed, on infrastructure you do not see, and you get charged for the runtime only in milliseconds.